got to be careful with something like this because when we're doing other things, we're, we're multiplying and, and carrying on as we do. Um, we sometimes try and do too much with something like this where this says f of x plus g of x. Just add the two together. Okay, now we can't necessarily do that when it's in this form because we, we don't have like terms at least compatible with each other. So we have to go ahead and FOIL this. So we get g of x and we simplify. We're going to take 3 and we're going to do the product of x plus 1 times x plus 1. That's what x plus 1 squared is. Please do not say x squared plus 1 because you're not FOILing it. You're just distributing a square where you shouldn't. That means the square means multiply this by itself. So that's what we're doing x squared plus x, or 1x, plus another 1x, and then plus 1. A lot of 1's involved. There's two x's right there. So I got an x squared plus 2x plus 1. If you know your binomial expansion, your 1, 2, 1 is that second row of Pascal's triangles. Distribute the 3, and we're pretty close to being done. We've got a 3x squared. That's a plus 6x and that's plus 3. Now if you look, at, we've got kind of common terms here, like terms. There's 4x squareds there. I got an 8x and I got a 4. The only one that has that 8x in the middle is answer C.